distance, speed, and time. This is example two. And it says Hank was driving his car at a speed of 100 kilometers an hour. And a kangaroo jumped onto the road 200 meters ahead of him. Calculate in question A, calculate the stopping distance if his reaction time is 0 0.8 seconds. And it wants to correct to the nearest meter. Okay. So what we do first is we we're going to use this formula, so we'll, we'll copy it down. And we'll put any multiplication in place as well. So this is going to be 5 times V times T over 18 plus V squared over 170. All right. So V stands for velocity, and our velocity was 100 kilometers an hour. Sorry, velocity and speed are the same, same thing. Uh, time, T is your reaction time, which was 0 0.8, all over 18, plus uh, V is your velocity again, so 100 squared over 170. Alright, let's come over here. Um, maybe we can work it out in pieces. It works quite well if you do that. So we've got 5 times... 100 times 0.8, which is 400. So we're going to have 400 over 18 plus 100 squared, which would be 10,000 over 17. And I think it would work a lot easier if we just work this all out in one piece. So 400 divide 18 or, or over 18 plus 10,000 divide 17 gives me, wow, that's really big. Um, so I've got, um, yeah, wants to correct to the nearest meter, which just means there's a whole number. So 610 meters. Wow, that's a, a long distance. Now, question B says, does he hit the kangaroo? Yes, he does. He went well and truly over the 200 meter mark. 